<coughs> okay, so we're going to do another demonstration using the jelly plate. So starting with the sunshine yellow, inking up, <coughs> transfer that straight across the jelly plate. Okay, so moving on to stream now, aching up, and we're going to use this on the other side, bringing that down into the yellow, so it just crosses over, and then lastly we're going to use watermelon. So inking up, I'm going to apply that now over the top of the yellow, blending that in like so. Okay, so that's the basis of your background. Now we're going to start stamping onto it using our border stamp, our floral border stamp and we're going to use um, the Deep Lagoon. So inking up, I'm going to very gently take off that first impression so it's not too much. Okay, so just gently press that down over the base and there we have our border stamp. I'm going to repeat that and do that at the top there. Like so. And then I'm going to start actually stamping the um, starting with the floral spray. We're going to ink up in the Imperial Purple. Simply pop that down very gently. And we'll just do one more over here. And then I'm going to ink up one of our new toadstools, this time in the um, Olympia Green. Like so. Now we've got some very small little bubble stamps here. I'm just going to ink those up in the Deep Lagoon. I'm just going to pop a few of those about. It's all about <coughs> building up lots of texture, colour and pattern. So using our very small bubble like so. Okay, now moving on to the matte white card, we're just going to pop that down over the top, give that a really good smooth down and hopefully we'll have a really lovely background that we can start stamping the silhouette, silhouettes on top. Okay, there we go. So just moving that away, we're going to trim the edge down. And 
then deciding which um, stamp to use, I think we're going to use uh, Freya, which is our new fairy stamp, and the Onyx Black. Simply ink her up and we're going to pop her round about here. Give that a good press down. Okay, now she's obviously floating, she's not grounded, so again we're going to use um, the cut and dry and the mountain effect which is just basically a torn piece of paper and we're going to just put that at the base of where she's standing using eggplant the cut and dry we're going to just take that over the edge giving that illusion that she's actually grounded like that. Okay, so while we're here we're going to take another colour around the edge of the card. So starting with the eggplant I'm just going to gently go around the edge. Okay, moving on to another colour now. I'm going to use Wild Plum and just finish that off. Working my way around. Like so. Okay. So I'm going to use some of our ink cap mushrooms now just to add a little bit of depth to the card. So moving on to the onyx black again. Popping that down and maybe just one more, like so. And of course, not forgetting our liquid pearls. And our fabulous glitter. Just sprinkle that over the top. And there we have another really nice colourful card full of texture and pattern and that's just using the jelly plate today.